decided to get up for sunrise. We're going to go walk down to the beach and watch the sunrise over the water. And then she discovers her first crab. So the Agnes Water Blues Roots and Rock Festival is what I was super excited to get back to Agnes for, to attend this festival. I volunteered over two days and I was able to attend for free and it was just incredible. Everyone was so talented. I got to see a few artists that I've heard before and so many new ones and it was just so well done.
actual worst when you have a blowout the water is like so warm i don't know the temperature but it's warm as probably should swim and it's 6 a.m lovely people are doing yoga down there heaps of people walking their dogs Saturday morning, 6am. This beach is on. Puffing a bit because it's rammed with Effie. Good excuse. Woo! So, I have decided to stay in Agnes Waters for about five weeks. I'm looking for a job. I have applied to work on the tour boats and I have travel tomorrow. So, hopefully, that all goes well. I'm very excited. And I put my eyes out and asked around for some accommodation and a beautiful local lady has offered me to stay in one of her uh, in her granny flat for $150 a week so that is amazing and I'm very grateful and it is so cute so this is my bed this is the room she loves Effie little kitchen and the bathroom and the grass area outside is so nice such a beautiful place so I'm super grateful for her and funny story so Effie's name is very uncommon she had a little dog who recently passed and her name was Effie too so that's pretty crazy so yeah, she hears her name. But anyways, I'm very excited. I'm gonna go unpack and I am keen for this next adventure. I can't wait for tomorrow. So, turns out there was a small puncture in my tire. Come Effie. Oh, it's just taking like four days to go down. I went to the tire place and asked them if they could fit me in. They said not today, but it'll cost like $45 to do it tomorrow 
So I do have a puncture equip repair kit and I was like, I'm just gonna see if I can do it myself. So rubbed soapy water over it and found the hole. My friend came over and helped me and used the repair kit because I've never used it before, but it was a little bit of a mission. Um, had to get a drill in the end because the screwdriver was like a bit hard to, that comes in the repair kit, it was a bit hard to like get in. So easier with the drill. Anyways, there it is, you can see it, repaired so far, so good, it was taking four days before too, so we'll see, um, hopefully it's fully good, hopefully that was only whole, and these will last me a little bit longer, um, so yeah, over the next few days I will keep an eye on it, but for now I think it's all good. And now I need to clean out my fridge. That's the next job and yeah, settled into my new house. So time to do jobs. Okay, that fridge was a bit worse than I thought. So I've carried it out, which is heavy. I'm taking out to the lawn. I'm gonna give it a proper clean down here. Oh, and air it out for a few days because I had M&Ms in the freezer. They melted and got watery and it's gross, so. This will put you off. Don't worry, it's been off for like five days. It wasn't like that before. Ew. Right, fridge cleaning duty all done. Let him dry out, even though it's cloudy. Gotta put my SPF 30 on. That's my jobs for today. Tire, fridge, feeling good. Brought all my stuff in. Gotta sort my clothes. That's always the last thing I do because I hate sorting clothes. But I don't have much room for it, so you know. One day. And yes, there is a hot outdoor shower. This is like one of my favorite things. He's back. He's already been in here twice. Where's your other legs, mate? What do you mean to have? Oh, little ones. He's big. Harmless. Harmless, but ugh, crawly. I don't want it to touch me. So he can live there. As long as he doesn't get in the shower with me, that's what happened with the last one. When I had to get someone to get him out. He's gonna hide somewhere and jump out at me. I need like a big container to get him outside. It's gonna make me scream though. Cause it's just so crawly. Spider catching time. Pretty much guarantee I'm gonna scream. Yuck. I don't like it. Okay. 
I need a spider catcher. I don't like spiders. I've just realised it's creeping me out. I can feel my heart. Lift, look at him lifting his leg. He's not happy either. Ew. He just pooped. Scared the shit out of him. He's not gonna hurt me, but I don't wanna wake up with that thing on me. I'm gonna lock him in here. He can live in that cupboard. He obviously likes the bathroom for some reason. Ew, next second I'm finding my clothes. It's okay. That spider is better than half the other spiders we can have, so. Oh, he can poop on my towels. Stay there. Right, today I am working on the reef tour boats while I'm doing a trial day. Hopefully it goes all good. I don't think I'll get seasick, but hoping not. I'm super excited, so I'm gonna film as much as I can, but I need to like make a good impression so I get this tour job, because this is what I wanna do. Tourism is cool. And been on the boat, see the beautiful reef, and it's just gonna be fun. So hopefully the weather's good. It's a bit cloudy today. But it's not really windy, so that's a good thing, depending if the water's the same. We'll see. species of soft coral out here on the barrier reef. Most the corals that you will see down here on our southern barrier reef are hard species of coral. And that's because of the temperature variation we have in our water down here. Got a lot of good luck then it always happens <laughs> can't see is it this. a shark yeah little shark. yeah little reef reef oh, yeah. sharks yeah <laughs> they even let me go for a snorkel and even though the visibility wasn't super high it was still just so incredible seeing these beautiful fish
I'm back. So it was a good day. I was fine most of the way. Like a little bit like I didn't feel 100% but I was like oh I feel pretty good. I was just like standing still and just like staring out. And then I needed to help in the gallery. Is that what it's called? Gallery? Something like that. And prepare the scones. So I was putting jam on them and looking down focusing. I was doing it for like five minutes and I was like oh I'm not feeling too good and then like a minute later I was like nah I don't feel good she's like yeah cool go outside switch over with one of the other guys so I did sitting outside I was like so much better so I caught it before it like got real bad so it was fine and we only had maybe half an hour left 20 minutes half an hour left on the boat before we got to Ireland anyways and I knew that as soon as we stopped I'd be fine so it was great that I got to just sit out the back and let the fresh air get me. Um, and then yeah, the rest of the tour was really cool. I got to go out to the island. Um, I did the glass bottom boat tour. And then one of the other workers, crew members, um, did a tour of the island. Uh, walked around, listened to all that. He remembers so much, it's amazing. Um, so if I need to do a tour, it's going to be very interesting to see how much I can remember. But yeah, more I practice, I guess I'll get it. But. We'll see if I get thrown into that. Then I went back on the bottom boat tour. So we saw a tiger shark as we were going on the glass bottom boat. It came underneath us. It was like four meters big, long. And two or three turtles, big green turtles. They were beautiful. And then we drove back to the boat, the big boat, and did some snorkeling. So I got to jump in for like 15, 20 minutes. I was a little bit scared because we'd just seen a big tiger shark and they'd seen one like three days before behind the boat where everyone between everyone snorkeling in the boat but I was like if this is my only chance I've just gotta do it so I did it and no regrets as soon as I get in that water it was just beautiful it was a scene from Nemo all of the Nemo um, Finding Nemo fish were on there <laughs> but it was very cool and swim around the reef was on the lookout for sharks but as soon as I was just in there with everybody I felt a lot more brave so and just been told to like not splash around if you see it don't panic which is of course you're gonna panic but like yeah splashing around is gonna cause attention for the shark to come over to you whereas if you just try and chill you might come and be curious I've heard you just push their faces down which that's scary but I mean you're in their area what else you're gonna do so anyways it was very beautiful very glad I jumped in, got to do everything that the tour people did and got a taste of it all. And yeah, and then we started to head back and it was so calm on the way back, like you're going with the tide, so, or like with the swell, so it was great. And all went well. They said I did good and offered me the job. I won't get many hours. Sorry, this. <laughs> Unfortunately, I won't get many hours because it's a bit of a quiet period at the moment, but a bit of experience, getting a bit of money, getting a bit of work, also chilling. If he's got a nice home to stay at while I am out and she's happy. And yeah, she's currently hiding under the bed so that maybe because I don't leave her or it's nice and cool, I'm not sure. There's a bit of stuff in there, but she's in there. Bit cute. But yes, good day. And I'm too tired to cook anything proper. Plus I'm not really that hungry. So I am having a microwaved potato with probably some cheese on top. Look at this. I don't have a microwave safe container. So I'm just doing the chuck the potato in and have a cup of water and boil it like that so yeah I'm sure I'll be um 